A bipartisan group of senators is working on a potential compromise on gun control. Meanwhile, thousands of people protested today outside the NRA convention in Houston. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is live now with the latest. Carlos. Well, Ellen, there is growing demand for lawmakers to do something to stop mass shootings. Polls show a majority of Americans support background checks and other gun safety measures. This comes as the NRA is holding its convention in Houston. They came to make their voices heard. Outside the convention in Houston, thousands of protesters, a rally against gun violence. From the air, you can see the size of the crowd. Among the speakers, Texas candidate for governor, Beto O'Rourke. Let us commit ourselves right now to doing the hardest things that we can think of because nothing about this will be easy. Up to 80,000 people are expected to attend the convention. The mayor of Houston says organizers should have considered postponing the event. He stressed there needs to be changes to our laws. This is a situation, a problem that's not going to go away, just wishing it goes away. Among the speakers, David Hogg, who survived the 2018 Parkland, Florida high school shooting. But even if it's just one law that saves one life, be it here in Texas or in Washington, D.C., we must focus on where we can find common ground. And the time for blaming law-abiding citizens should have never begun. It's time to put the blame where it goes, which is at the shooter's feet. A number of people have dropped out of the convention. That includes musician Don McLean and Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who pulled out at the last minute. He appeared in a video message. Former President Donald Trump gave today's headline speech. Even more repulsive is their rush to shift blame away from the villains who commit acts of mass violence and to place that blame onto the shoulders of millions of peaceful, law-abiding citizens who belong to organizations such as our wonderful NRA. And the House Oversight Committee now wants information from gun makers about the marketing and sales of AR-15-style rifles. There is a gun violence hearing scheduled for June 8th. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.